So the South Aral Sea have now shrunk to obscurity, and uh, in 2004 this picture was taken, and in 2014 this picture was taken, and you can see the uh, huge loss of water on the surface of uh, on the surface here. And in the 19th century, 90 years before this, even this picture was taken, this lake was the fourth largest lake in the world. Now it wasn't that much bigger than this lake, uh, but you get the picture. The reason why this happened is if you look up here, this whole green region in the middle of the whole fucking desert is. Uh, what do you call a? It, it, it was a project of the Soviet Union, uh, where they wanted better agricultural agriculture in this region. So they did a uh, water dispersion program, where they took the water that came down from uh, this region of the world and went in rivers here. And uh, you can see, yeah, the river here. And uh, what they did was uh, they aggregated this area uh, with all the water that came down. So instead of uh, it getting to the South Aerial Sea, it uh, it went into agriculture. Now, I personally, I, I think it, it, it was a good decision because this agriculture project could, can and can still feed a lot more people than uh, what this sea could and uh, what this sea could ever do and um, yeah that's it uh, why there's still water here it's uh, still getting water into this place this place is dammed off uh, let's see if I can show you the dam here. Uh, it's dammed off here, and uh, so it, it keeps it from water flowing into the aerial sea and just uh, evaporating there. And uh, this uh, this is getting water from uh, here into this place. You can see it flowing out here. Uh, so that's what uh, where this uh, sea is getting water from and uh, keeping it from flowing away into this place it has dammed off um, and it is a pretty amazing thing that this is completely man-made if you see now, now there's just a lot of names in the way here but that's a big fucking spot on the map that's that's huge man-made that is literally man-made climate change in that area. That, well, not climate change, but man-made change there. It's, it's so apparent from... You, you can watch this, and it could be one of the dots in the middle of the Earth, which has a huge reflective surface there because of the minerals. And it's just amazing that we can make that happen. Like, we can make that change. We have the power to change the world around us, and uh, just by doing a simple thing as just uh, by diverting the water going in there, the sea disappears and will disappear if uh, you know it, if it keeps happening. And, and personally, this agricultural project here, I'm totally for it. I mean, there, there's not much you can do with a lake uh, compared to um, having a huge fucking agricultural project here. Now, it's causing a lot of problems for the uh, inhabitants, because this part, for tens of years, so many years, all the agricultural waste projects and the pesticides and things like that has gone into that river and gone into that sea. And now that it has dried up, it uh, it's now so dry 
that a wind can just swoop it up and it's uh, causing a lot of health problems for the people around the sea and around this area here. And you know, that's sad, but the benefits of this whole project has been that you can now feed millions of people on this area. And I think that personally, I would rather have that and than a big salty lake in the middle of the fucking desert. And uh, the benefit before that was that you could uh, you could do a lot of fishery there, but that fishery is not as beneficial as a fucking huge plot of fucking land here. I mean, yeah. But you know, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been Marcus Freelance.